Welcome back to another Power Query tutorial. It's me, James, your BA Sensei. And today we will be looking at a way of joining two tables without actually using the merge function. And we're going to use it in the context of checking for promotion. So what we have here is we got a sales table with sales on a specific date for bikes or accessories, and that's the total sales amount. We got a promotion table, and the promotion runs from a start date to an end date at a specific percentage and it's for a specific product and it's got a promotion name. I want to join this table to that table based on the product and then the start and end date should be in the range of the sales date and then I want to return the discount percentage and work out what the total discount would be. So how will we do this without merging the two tables? So in a, in a way this is like a conditional merge. How do we do it? Let's start by pulling it into Power Query this in we pull this table in first and then we pull the promotions table in so we got a data pull that in so now we have both tables the fact table and we got the promotions table in to power query so how will i go about joining the fact sales to the promotions table i'll do that it is simple without using merge i don't want to use the merge function so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just add a column say add a custom column i'm going to call this column promotions and I'm going to refer to the promotions table that we pulled in. Cool, and I'm going to refer to it. So now what this does, it basically returns for each row in my main table, it returns, does a cross join to the promotion table and returns every single row in the table promotions. So what we need to do now is we need to iterate, we need to take the row from the main table and iterate and only return the products and the dates that are applicable between the sales date for each row in the main table. So how do we do that? We are going to use a function called table.selectRows to achieve that. All right. So we look at the, the main query over there, the last one where we added the columns, and we're going to say, apply that formula over here. So we're going to say for the each, we're going to say table.selectRows. And we're going to open it up. And the first argument of that would be the table, which we already have. We're going to give it a condition to fulfill. And we're going to say each, because we need to iterate. So each is used for each row in the main table. And we're going to use it each for each row in the child table. And we're going to say for each product. Yes, from each product, we want to make sure it's equal to the product. And we close that bracket. And as you can see, it really didn't do anything. The reason is that product equals product is not actually, this is like a, that this inner each is referring to itself. So just seeing product is equal to product. So we need to say that the product from this table, which is the outer each, is equal to each of the products in there. So how do we do that? With that, I'm going to replace the outer each. I'm just going to give it a variable name. I'm going to call this the main table. Let's call this fact sales table. Yes. And then I'm going to say this product over there is actually from the fact sales table and then this inner one which is from this table I'm going to give it a name just remember you need to put a little the syntax is a little arrow like that and then for the each we do the same thing here and we call this the promotions table right and we do a little arrow like that that's just the syntax and we're going to say excellent that one is that one and we're going to press enter so now what you see is each one of these rows now has filtered. So for bikes, we have filtered out bikes. For accessories, we've uh, filtered out accessories. But once again, we return every single row. Now we want to also apply the sales date to be between those two days. So what do we do there is another condition. We just append the conditions and we say and I say fact sales table. And that is the sales date, yes, is bigger than or equal 
promotions table, yes, and that would be the promotion start date, yes, and remember there's another part of this and, we say, let's make this a little bit bigger, and we're going to say and fact sales table, and we're going to say, once again, the sales date is smaller or equal to the promotions table. And that would be the promotions end date. And that should return, if I click here, each row, if there is a if there is a match on the sales date and the product, it should return a record from the promotions table. Okay, that's cool. And now what we do is we simply expand on it. We say bring back the promotion name and the discount percentage. And here we go. So now we have, so for all the periods where the product as a promotion, we return a discount percentage and this, the promotion name. So let's quickly now apply the last steps to our thing. Discount receive amount. And we simply say that's the sales amount, multiply the discount percentage. And that will give us our discount amount. And let's just make it a decimal. And now you can see there's your total discount amount. Isn't it cool? So we basically join two tables, merge them without actually using the merge function, but doing it with table functions. Pretty cool. I eh? hope this helped you. It really helped me. Have a lovely day there. BA Sensei out.